Oh, mate, <laughs> you know what? We had, I went away and my boy got up there, didn't she? Right? What did you do? Your boy always, got what? I went away and I went back to Dublin. She got me sausage dog new. Yeah. Because oh. the, the other two are like girls. Yeah. And yeah. literally, what they do is they literally just take take a little nut show. That's it. And just left them with sag. And I was just like, did that just, Shall we keep the bag? He keeps the bag, but not the, not the nuts. <laughs> do you ever find yourself wanting to just poke it? No, mate. I think you ever see the little extra bit on your elbow? <laughs> <laughs> oh, lad. Lad. <laughs> lad. Oh. You weenus? Go and get a zip, put on your dog's ball bag, <laughs> and I have a lemon with me. Put your bits in it, bits in it. Put your lemon with your dog's balls. <laughs> Go to your poodle. He's got a good guard gate up the balls. Yeah, your dog gets 10 to 12 in a 20 man show. <laughs> yeah, like that, and the dog in the section. Yeah. And squat and cough. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, he has pneumonia. That's what he's got. Yes. <laughs>
nah, you don't even get Lucasade over there. No Lucasade, no pro. Nothing. So when I come here, I'm just like, right, Tesco's, Powerade, Lucasade, give me everything you can. <laughs> I suppose there's a shop recently. Smackhead. Go <laughs> back. Oh, <laughs> mate, tell in the gaff, just fucking... <laughs> Munching away. Man, when, just, <laughs> when you start a little side graft over in Dubai, <laughs> start Mate, you know, know, like, it's a bit shit. No, no giving kids permission. I went, to the, <laughs> I went to the bar, I was right, and I came <clears> out. <throat> and there's a little shop next door, and I was just walking and saying, fuck off. There's like a tr- shelf full of Lucas head. I put it on my story, right? Now I ordered like 25 messages on Instagram. People text me, where do you get this? I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think my head's like, Maybe there actually is a bit of business in this job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Stop the DJ and off Lucas Enterprise. I've got cherry, I've got orange. <laughs> Caribbean crush, all the flavors. <laughs> on, a, on a lucky excuse around me by like, I've got to do with eSports. E- only this week, though. This week. <laughs> like, even over there, you wouldn't even have to go around. It's like this app, yeah. And you can actually get someone to come collect stuff off you. Okay. And then deliver it to someone. So if I want to send like... Oh. So like a Delta? Literally. Yeah, like a Delta <laughs> taxi. No, it's a delivery room. So it's called Kareem over there. So you literally like, just go on your app, this fella come to your gaff. I need to get medication before. And it was like an hour and a half drive. Got this cunt to come and he just took the money, took the prescription, went straight down to the chemist. An hour and a half went, came all the way that's back. Mad, literally anything. You, know, you can get like anything delivered to your dog. Fuck off, that's mad, that. You yeah, can get like crazy. your shopping, your fucking... Probably you can get your ass bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> but you can order everything. Like it's just over there. It's just nuts. Like um, so, you in you in Dubai now? Have you got residencies and that now over there, or are you just like sort of freelancing it? We're freelancing it for now. We we'll had a lot of residencies, but when the summer comes, mate, it's just like everyone gets off. And there's not really much happening. Yeah. It's fifty degrees. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All the be- like I've done a beach club and all. I was at the start of the summer. I was like, do you know what? Like, fuck this. Like, Too hot. Mate, you're standing there like you're fucking soaking. Yeah, two, yeah, two yeah. seconds later, literally like, and yeah, straight out of the swimming pool, not on standing behind the decks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you it, it, into uh, I know that you said that you've basically been doing it y- your whole life because your dad was doing it. But when did you fully make a start into it? Did you go See, into the DJ inside first, or because the first time I ever heard about you it was through your uh, your sample packs? Yes, yeah, certain mashup packs. Your mashup packs, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. SoundCloud. That's what when I first started out, I really started posting SoundCloud and. When you're looking at your status, it's like Dublin, then Liverpool. It's where all the fucking players is like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I went to over and it was like, I was 16 and I had my first gig and I was in like this big massive like venue in Dublin called the Wife and it was like three floors. It was like, and I was asked to do an over 8 days gig. So I went in, smashed it, and the manager came up to me after, like, how old are you, by the way? It's just like, yeah, 16. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like, it's like, I really like it, but you can't play here. Like, you need to play like, the underage. Did the underage for six months and playing the overage then and just yeah playing with like MK when you're in them sort of gaffs and all do you know what I mean like yeah. it opens doors to other places so yeah yeah like Billy Clements got me over here I think it was like eight I was playing in a house it was like three in the morning I was just <laughs> yeah. like I was like right <laughs> well literally walked in man I was like whoa <laughs> <laughs> was like, this, yeah, yeah. this has got to go one way and another you know walking out of here a cell and getting striped in the back yeah, <laughs> yeah that's getting it. striped house hasn't but changed I even, I even had one of my mates um, he was DJing over here before with me and I, he didn't really know like at the time I was like mate look Anyone ask you, like, do you want a stripe? Like, that means, like, do you want to stab you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? So, <laughs> so, so I said this to her, and uh, all night when he had a few drinks, someone came up to him, was like, he'd already done a charity or something. Next time, someone came up, was like, Dad, do you want a stripe? And he's like, What? Why? <laughs> 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 Start tapping me on the shoulder. And he's like, Mate, he wants to stab me. I was like, uh, <laughs> Do you know, like, do you know what I was right? Years ago, so in, like, my my family from Ireland, my yeah. brother still lives in Ireland, Wexford, Southern Ireland, like, and um, fucking, they used the word shift for like, necking someone, yeah. meeting someone. Oh, okay. Shifting that. Well, you yeah. shift me, mate, shifting. But over in Liverpool, the word shiv means stabbing someone. Yeah. So like, when I was like 15, 16, and be like, ah, do you want to shift yet? And it was the accent, I was thinking, I'm getting stabbed up yeah. here, lad. Like, <laughs> so I'm getting done by all these kids. <laughs> Even in, in Wexford, like, that'd be the fucking crowd here would now want to be getting stabbed there. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're all fucking pikey bastards, that's why. Like, stab, stab stab with a pitchfork, baby. <laughs> 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 Full of farmers. Yeah, little <laughs> farmers, <laughs> every day. Little rats. Oh, but yeah, now like, Dublin's like... Is that you born and bred Dublin, is it? Yeah, like, we'd be from the city centre, like, so literally... Yeah, it's just madness around, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like anywhere, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you have like where I'm kind of from is like it's unmatured right next to a stadium, so it'll be like 
I look out my back and I'm connected to Anfield, but like it's called Crow Park. And yeah. And literally, like, it's sound, but see, on the weekends, like, that was for all, like, the Gaelic football. Like, all, you know, like, half, all, all Ireland, yeah, half nine in the morning, somebody at cunt with a horn blowing it. And I'd be on, <laughs> I'd only be getting in from work at five o'clock next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. Well, I'd like, imagine how all them fucking South Africans felt when it was the World Cup with the Vuvuzelas. I'm imagine that. <laughs> I remember them. Oh. They were heavy, them, man. I just started strangling people with them. And what? You just got some little Irish kid with an air horn. I know, yeah. And I'm just sitting down, like, oh. But I remember once, maybe, mate, yeah, we were, I think it was probably three, four years ago, right? We're all up, still up in the gaff having a party of mine. And obviously, I'd saw these cunts go to the match. We rang me, mate, yeah. He's like, where are you? He's like, oh. I'm still up as well, yeah. Like, where are you? He says, right, well, then my gaff come over with a drink. <laughs> and I knew at the time there was a big fucking match on. This fella's still up and he's got to walk through a load of crowds. <laughs> <so we're laughs> a, load, a load of fun getting mixers, right? <laughs> Next time we were outside the gaff, where are you? He's like, yeah, I'm just here, yeah. Walking through like that, wild through <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> and I was just like, you ever seen them piece scatty moments then you're like still up the next day you're trying to get to another gaff party it's bright out and you're like oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, even that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're just like hell do I have to deal with this yeah, yeah. when you yeah. get into the gaff then you're like fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> so have you never done nothing else then in terms of like jobs and that is it always just being you've always sort oh, of been on the same path nah I did look labour for a week or something a week <laughs> 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 I, got, I, got, I got into it and I was literally me, me how I got me onto it. I was like still on some site on the fucking coast, yeah. And next of all, there's me and this little talker fell up on a roof trying to put a canopy over it. And I'm just like, <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> felt like I was going to get blown off with the little talkers fell out. <laughs> Thing is pissing now. And I was like, nah, I'm going back to the DJ. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. just like, especially in the void, it's kind of handy. Like, just you fucking the dough you make. Like, it's, yeah, yeah. It's like you're able to actually live off it and not like yeah, not just scrape by. Just scrape by, yeah. It's like, but as I said, like you have the good times and the bad times. Like yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like as I say, we could be flat ill for six months or what, and then you could have like three months where you got you go quiet. Then again, when you're tidying over there, it's just like do you leave in the summer? Yeah, Cause then you yeah. might lose some of your work when you come back in September. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but. I have three little fucking dogs over there. It's a bleeding nightmare. <laughs> what <laughs> dogs have you got? A Frenchy, a toy poodle, and a sausage dog, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There's a joke there somewhere. <laughs> no, no, 100%, right? So it's a sausage dog, yeah. Or they pop. all walk into a bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The sausage dog, the toy poodle, and the Frenchy walk into a bar. <laughs> and, get, and get stoned to death because they've got the tits out. <laughs> 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 you see a lot of cunts down there throwing stones at dogs. <laughs> Do you like dogs? <laughs> Walk into a caravan site. <laughs> Stone them. Them. Tight poodles. <laughs> Tight poodles. And they're the little, like, like, they're the little miniature poodles. Yeah, like, they'll be like tiny. Like this thing was ah, like, that's not even a real dog. That, like, <laughs> that's not, that can't it looks, like, it looks like a bird, but it's got the a big one, dick. The one we got, though, I don't think it's a full bread, though. It's like, you think it's half lamb or something like that. <laughs> African gold. <laughs> and what did you get them over there? I got got them over there, yeah, but the fucking the sausages I got recently I got them for a grand. The cunt had pneumonia though. <laughs> <laughs> Got off the same, off the same like, breed the Molly May goes to. I swear, could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, could you imagine, right? They're selling a fucking dog. I brought him home. Two days later, the cunt's coughing on all of it. The other dogs are looking at him. I'm like, hey, get him out. I was like, what's going on here? Yeah, brought him to the vet. The first vet goes to me. He's like, what have you been giving him? And I was like, what you mean? What have you been fucking giving him? She's like, yeah, you know, you need to take this dog to hospital. I'm like, oh, here we go. The dead dog <laughs> laying on my lap here, driving across into the next calf. That's ruining your day. I, I <laughs> just like, I just wanted a fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to be fucking going to bleed in A&E &E with the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Rocking and I'm bleeding. The one's like, yeah, now he's got it the last week. And I'm like, the fucking shop I bought the dog off, like, didn't even know. He had pneumonia. I'm like, you're just selling fucking dogs here. This is fucking sick. <laughs> I just went down to the shop, right? I'm saying some like, milk, two Lucas eggs, and three dogs. Please. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man, your man's looking at me in the shop. He's like, yeah, the dog is perfect, real friendly and all. I was like, yes. Touching the back. I mean, 
<laughs> 72 hours later, the thing's nearly on its deathbed. And we go down to your man and be like, This lazy cunt didn't even take the vest. He just phoned that killer and said, We're talking about the delivery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, when you deliver them as well, can you bring back two cans of coke? <laughs> <laughs> Spice takes up after But yeah, it was fucking. I even the toy poodle I got was like, they sold the cunt to me like two months, like a month or two early. And I was like, right, so I'm brought the thing home next day. My board's doing some boards here in the gaff, like, and she's the toy poodle's on a lap like this. And next while he picked her up, she's like, oh, she's kind of asleep. They put the toy poodle on the floor and think it just flops over to the side. Fuck off. I swear to God. Because <laughs> I only weighed like not even a bag of sugar and I didn't eat. Thing was nearly on its deathbed as well. So I had two dogs that nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm like, Lord Jesus, bring them all back to fucking life. Does it not get to a point where you start blaming yourself? Yeah, nah, no, nah, no, no, it's never no. blame. <laughs> I'm just like a fucking Samaritan here. Just <laughs> 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 yeah, but you know what? To be fair, there's loads of content over there that actually rescue dogs like that or what? Yeah. There's just like so many strays. You're saying it's, 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 it's 50 degrees as well. The dogs must fucking struggle, especially uh-huh. dogs that aren't natives yeah. to Especially if me fucking French, she thinks like it's about to have a blatant asthma. Yeah, 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 yeah. Times, yeah. And all they're all dying like that. Yeah. Yeah. It comes in. <laughs> just like, oh, they shut up at this time. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh. brave, aren't they? Yeah, it was. Like, <laughs> just, just get yourself together, right? Lie down. <laughs> what, like, have a chilly heat wave to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a little oh. And a little wine of fucking cats. So oh, mate, day that's day. happened before. I've happened. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, what? actually, no, no, not in the boy, no. In Dublin. Yeah, yeah. allegedly. Yeah. Yeah, I was in that Stay City gaff there. <laughs> <laughs> but, nah, it's like, you can get some dogs out there, all strays, though. Like, even, like, the little foreigners, I swear to good God, like, it's mental. They're actually, like, terrified of dogs. Really? Like, yeah. terrified. But, <laughs> nah, um, but basically, yeah, it's just, like, you can walk up and, like, oh, you mean, that's, like, moving away from me, like, proper, like, I'm over the guardy here, like, this, <laughs> shake, like, shake, and they'll be. But my sausage dog is just the complete opposite. Like, he'll see one and... He'll just like piss himself and start running. Really? Yeah, yeah. We'll bring, him, bring him on a walk, yeah. And it's, there's always a security guard who's on the desk, and the sausage dog will come through the front door, see him, and he'll just pace a boy. And I'm just like, he's like, what? Why does he never stay? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe that he's just done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just like, it's fucking. How long have you been in Dubai for? Two years now, Two it? years, yeah. Three years in January. And it was oh. literally just like a holiday and it was like, I've stayed. Literally. What's the visa situation? How, how, do you work, how does it work with that? It's quite easy to get a visa to go to Dubai. Yeah, but that one, the shit I went through, I got fucking scammed on mine, didn't I? Like, <laughs> yeah, did you? yeah, like I got, so basically, I, when I got there, I was like, two years ago, I was like, well, obviously I wanted to start work, but COVID times and all that, so they're like, look, you need to be vaccinated. Yeah, yeah So yeah. when you're like told, like, you can't walk, it took me like a good two months before I could actually walk over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So obviously I have some water savings, you know what I mean? I had a little private party or two, but like for two months I couldn't walk. I had to go five weeks to get your visa process. Yeah. So you have to go, when you do it, it's like, I just got it off some landlord and got into this fed. He's like, yeah, yeah, say I will take five weeks. Got everything sorted. Every time I was going to say, I was like, oh, I want the music one. He's like, oh, another 500. And he's just bumping me and bumping me yeah, and bumping okay. me. Yeah, okay. Then next to what he's like... Is this a local fella? Yeah, local. Should have just brought your dog with him with the shit himself? <laughs> 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 you know what? Over there, like, when you think of it, like, because nothing's really put out, like, that yeah. there's anything wrong. Yeah. It's all propaganda, like, you know what I mean? Like, you have yeah. people, like... It's people that's jumped off balconies and all that. Like, it's not, not the nails. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay, okay. I was brushed under the carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, place. <laughs> Very corrupt. <laughs> or under the sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just uh, throw a little Betty's mind over him. <laughs> oh, that's why they can reclaim so much land in the sea. It's just dead bodies in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. There's a hotel on that ladder. That's, that's, that's what the palm is. Yeah. The palm's just dead bodies going right the way up, yeah. Just it's all left like, over them. Yeah. Like a little coffin <laughs> down. <open. laughs> <laughs> but now it's like, it's nuts that some of the stuff goes on. So like, when I got my visa and all sort, and you basically money laundering happens over there. So like, if you give seven thousand, say if you like sign up for this company, you give him your wages and he puts it through to a company, and as that you get it as a salary then. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right, like, okay. I'm with you, yeah, yeah. So you're not even walking, but like you're just paying someone. They're putting it on the books, right? yeah, 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 yeah. And I give this fella fucking like fifteen hundred quid, like and just bounce back back his hand. Two years. <laughs> just, got off. just got off. <laughs> just got off. Got <laughs> off. I was like, oh, he sounds. Like, <laughs> like, it's the up to two months ago. He got back on to me then. He was like, 
oh, V's are running out now, sir. And I was just like, <laughs> yeah, is it? Yeah. I didn't have the first one, you did <laughs> So he goes, basically, because I gave you this money, you gave me that money last time, I'll do it for free. I'm like, fuck it, like, oh, what's the fucking harm? <laughs> go do me bleeds. So you have to do a medical and all. So you have to go get your blood stored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you sign up there, get fingerprints, fucking, oh, no, it's bleeding mentally, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously, this fella he says, yeah, I'll give you free V's. I'm like, oh, you sweet. Obviously, I had a bit of a shit show a few months ago with fucking just mental health stuff and that. And I was flying back, yeah. I was flying back to Dublin, as I was saying. Like, and next of all, this comes up, yeah. Go to immigration counter. Fucking cunt never even did my visa. I imagine that I'm ready to fly home. <laughs> and it just comes up, go to immigration counter. I literally had to wait a week and a half for uh, to get the whole thing like uh, stopped. So obviously, you get like 30 days. So I've just came back now like 20... 25 days yeah, before yeah, I tour yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. now and then I have like I'm DJing in Milan in two weeks for like some wedding okay so it's another 30 days <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's just like it is sound to get visas and all but like you do get scammed over there you yeah. wouldn't think yeah. so have you got yeah, a proper visa now or are you going in and out to get your just visa just heading out at the minute oh yeah. are you yeah so where, where's the closest place you can go to then uh, or are no, you always no, you going can drive. Some... You can take an hour and a half drive and just go up to a bar at your bar like, you know what I mean? Oh, really? Yeah. So you can just drive up, go through the bar and then come back out to the other side then. What bar do you go through? Do you go to like... Omen, it's called. Oh, okay, okay, so okay. it's like a bleeding... Tune that, by the way, Prodigy. Prodigy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Move that mic in just a yeah. little bit closer just, just, just to be that beside. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, it's, yeah, some of the stuff you see over there is just fucking nuts. Like. Yeah, I can imagine. Like, I can imagine it's it, it, it's it's well painted over. Do you reckon yeah. that's you now? Yeah, in a way, show out. It's as I said, to you, like, you can make good money DJing there and like compared to here. Yeah. So I'd rather just save up over there and just get a gaff. Like, gaffs are going for nothing. Like, over the are they, yeah? Yeah, 400 grand, you can get a fucking three, four bedroom villa with a fucking pool and all in it. Oh, fuck off. Like, like the nice way you're saying 400 grand like oh yeah, 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 yeah but, like, but, like, but when you think of like what you'd spend here in London yeah yeah yeah, in yeah, London, yeah. yeah. No, no, like, type yeah. you get a yeah. fucking garage in London you'd get probably like you sleeping in someone's bath you get yeah. a two bedroom apartment for what a fucking quarter of a mil yeah, yeah. yeah true. do you know what that, that like I, I'm gonna probably show me how old are you by the way 25 oh yeah so I'm 32 I'm a bit old like and uh I watch location <laughs> location location all the time I used to fucking love that show and like, when you put it on and they go uh, today's couple has got a, a, a budget of 1.7 million. I'm like, that fucking Ken's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Pools on the go. But they're in uh, the city of London and they want a, a studio flat. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> What? With it's one like one point seven <laughs> mil. I want to see twelve pools, fucking yeah, in cages it, for like, your slaves and everything. Yeah, like one <laughs> oh, mate, there's so, so, some of the maids over there. They, they, you're saying cages for room. There's like maids rooms over there. Like in my gaff, I'm living in. Right? <laughs> in my gaff, there's a maids room. No, like, no, 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 no it's not mad. even in my gaff, right? But. I have the same layout, but there's like two doors up. They've got two nuns under the, uh, two nuns. He's got he's a hidden Catholic. I mean. got two, <laughs> <laughs> as I said about when you were parking at that spot. So I had a nuns fanny together. <laughs> <laughs> but um, two nuns next to his Irish car bomb. So basically, there's like two doors up for me. These cunts are putting two maids underneath the stairs, like two Harry Potters on the ground. <laughs> 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 I swear to God, maybe Mrs. Look use as a stars, and these cunts are like getting put on the stage for like mind the kids. I'm like, what the fuck? Like you yeah, can get that. So, some of the stuff like in the in the UAE, some of the things that you can get away with that you, that just wouldn't wash yeah. Oh. It's fucking crazy, like mate. Man. There's yeah. like there's like a little, old, not a little, a fucking big massive IKEA, yeah. <laughs> and it's called Dragon Mart. I swear to God, you can buy anything in this place. Like it's literally like a free for all. If you wanted a kid in there, I'd say you could find one. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in the back, Joe, a little doggy yeah, style. Yeah. yeah, look, you can get this one, this one, this one. <laughs> but uh, but he don't tell you the kids have got pneumonia though, <laughs> <laughs> and he don't sell them there. for a grand. <laughs> 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 But yeah, it was a sell that it was such a dog for the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so do you produce? I know you're doing the mashups and that. And, yeah, uh, but nah, Do you but produce like and make your own ch- tracks and that? Yeah, I've got a load of few tracks with me though. It's just been like, I'm waiting to just get to a level. Like it's just like, when you can make tracks, you don't want to make something. Yeah. And it'd be like you was making the podcast and like you know, look back at it in three years time, be like, yeah, fucking hell, why were we doing it? Like, yeah. yeah. 
Jeg tror også, at hun skulle betyde noget flot. Det var ikke plot. Det er vist en bare. Det er sådan, der parkerne kommer til at sige sådan noget. You get a maid for like a quid a month, though. Really? How much? A quid a month, English. A quid a month. She like she wiped. Give me a quid, it's in a grand. Yeah, grand. Not oh, a fucking oh. one pound. I just said that. One pound man is gone in the U.S. It's a little light on me, isn't it? A pound a month, mate. He comes in and makes a mess and just gets off. <laughs> nah, that's because you get underneath the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, it's... Uh, like, you, see, you can get stuff over there, like, mad cheap. Like, even as I said, that place is just like... This cunt's walking around, they're like, we'll carry our bags on off for like two pounds. And you're just oh, like, okay, you're like, go on then. Fuck. I've got more than that. One time I've seen, so did you ever see the little push trolleys? Yeah. yeah. Some fella just standing on it, another fella pushing the push trolley <laughs> off. down this place. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> people have got, more, people people have got more money than sense over there. Yeah, yeah, they've got to spend it on yeah. me. It's just like, people do go on like that. Like, we've seen people, and they go in the nightclubs and all that. They're getting their name and all just on the screen, and then a bottle shop just... Just for attention, like it's yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. See the fucking the couple who uh, done the gender reveal and done it on the fucking Burj Khalifa or whatever. Oh. With the fucking they made it light up blue, and I was like, come Fuck on, God, must have cost so much. So that, that, that cost I think for nearly like one point five mil. Just to do that? Yeah. D- something on that, something on that screen is yeah. mega, mega dark. Really? Yeah. Daft, yeah. yeah Ronaldo did it for his board, didn't he? Did and he? Then, he and the yeah. baby died. Did he? <laughs> <laughs> It did as well. It did as well. It did die. It did die. <laughs> I can't say what he said. He swear by the time. I think this is a lot worse. Yeah. It's, it's not, you know. Yeah. 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 You've got to go back there. I, know. <laughs> I don't mind, man. I'll just get to the stick it anyway. I'll go back to the producer. Yeah, so basically, yeah, it's just like... How do we get from the producer? Oh, no, I don't know. Turn yeah. back, but me to the part. Yeah, you came up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but nah, it's like, obviously I've been reduced years and my stuff's just getting better and better, don't yeah. mean? So I'm just like, I'm starting to get to a point where I'm happy with it now to actually yeah. just send out. As I said, I'd rather have 20 good tunes yeah. than putting out five half hours. Yeah. Yeah, 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 have yeah, you yeah, got like a five to ten year goal or anything? Or? That's what I'd be over there. It's probably five years of just like saving. It's like, as I said, the money you can make, it can easily turn around like 10 grand a month over there. Yeah. You know you've I mean? said saving twice, now what do you want to do with your is that, is it, sorry, is, is that 10 grand like sterling? 10 grand sterling a month, okay. yeah. Like if, but if you're smart and you put it away, like you can get a down payment on a fucking penthouse. It was like, it made me bored look at like one point. I was just, as I said, 400 grand for a penthouse and they wanted like a 75, 60,000 pounds down payment. Do you know what I mean? I want to get something, like get the down payment up, let someone live in it. Yeah. yeah. And then five, ten years, I have a gaff paid for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah makes sense. So, yeah. I mean, I, so the way I'm looking at the boy is like, career-wise, it's not really like yeah, the probably. best decision, do you know what I mean? But at the same time, if I'm working on like producing it in the five years and set me life up. Yeah, you may as well set your life up, get a bit more of a name behind you, and then when you decide to come back over the year, you've 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 already got a good record. I've got the, all the network, I've got all yeah. the contacts, yeah. I've got yeah. everything, and... The stuff I'm putting out is like fucking each one is just as good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Because I've seen people, and especially with DJing, the way you brand yourself is important. For yeah. Things. 100%. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you was with podcasts. You know what I mean? You just don't come out with like some mental, stupid episodes. You're just getting some mad crackhead DJs come on and just speak <laughs> about fucking. <laughs> we'll hold your horses. You yeah. haven't finished with this one yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you know what I mean? It's just the way, obviously, you have done so well from the podcast from the way you just branded it. Appreciate it's it. The DJ, like you, DJs are the same. Like, you know I mean? You have you to. You've got to be a friend yourself. You, yeah. you gotta have to, like. And, and I think that's in today's society as well. Like, you could, like, you could be the fucking best DJ ever. Or, or the most talented at whatever sort of avenue you're in, but without marketing yourself yeah, properly, yeah. you're just going to fucking fall on their face. Yeah, that's the way you be marketing with DJ and networking is boy being at parties and that, you know Yeah, like, exactly. It's like me, I've been, obviously I came over here at the house to DJ that time and Billy Clements got me on. Came ho- Danny's just playing with the band. Like yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just like, I went, did that gig, came back and then Billy was like to me, it's like, yeah, look, I want you at an ocean beach in six months' time. And for like any DJ, like, that's only like no idea. That's what it was like. Yeah, yeah, watch the new radio one weekend, you're like, ocean Played beach. Out, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, that's a step up from house as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, even when you go do it, then the people you meet there, and it's just constantly. Constantly yeah. networking, yeah, yeah. Constantly networking. Like, sometimes I've went and 
I might not even get paid for the gigs, but you go because you know you're going to meet someone, yeah, go to the CV, mm-hmm. you get good exposure. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's the thing, you know, that you want payment from it or you want uh, opportunities yeah. to buy, yeah. you know what I mean? So, or yeah. even, as I said, even if it's getting you published more by saying, dear post, you want their Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And do you reckon, do you reckon there's, because I don't know, I'm obviously, you DJ, obviously you're fucking, you're big like, um, yeah. is the venues that are at a decent sized venue who will take the piss and get people to come for nothing so they don't have to pay them because they want to come to their venue do you reckon there's many places like that yeah it's it's a, a, basically like either for any up and coming dj yeah it's like we'll give you a it's, trial come out and then yeah. you go off on your cv done this club yeah, yeah, yeah. i've lived there like nothing. do you know what i mean like i've lived in like beta and there was times like I was like, was that, was, people say, go live in like beta no that's where you go. I was like, no it's not yeah mm. do you know because there's a supply of saying L fucking Tommy down the road wants to DJ there and he can go over to IB to get a set and he say, yeah. I'll do it for nothing. Yeah. And a fucking club owner would be like, yeah. oh, I'll get him to do it for free. Yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. when you're actually a DJ yourself, like that's still like, So I beat this more so more for when you're sort right. of established. In, the, in a way and like, then people are that off the test they can't even fucking tell if the DJ's yeah. good or not yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah. that's what that's, that's what I mean. So it was just like when I, I lived there I was it was a heavy six months. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I lived there in COVID, but it was actually good in COVID because I wasn't at the big clubs all the time. Do yeah. you know what I mean? So it wasn't like every yeah. week I'm going to your swear and you're getting proper rally. There was like it was more like gaff parties now. So you got to actually network yeah, that yeah, even yeah, better yeah. then. Go yeah. in the villas and all in that. In the villas and yeah, all yeah. getting to know like as I said, from me DJing over there, like I've got a load of private clients now on the boy. Yeah. And like the last what year and a half is like I'm doing these big mega gaffs like I made did like some gaff and this fella was just doing DJ listens with someone over there. He's got his own nightclub downstairs with his bar in it. Then okay. he's got a cinema room. <laughs> then he's got an aquarium upstairs in front Fuck of the off. pool table. Big massive swing in his gaff. He has bar- bartenders and a big fuck wow. off pool with a little foil pit. Every, like the gaff you get into. That's it. Yeah, crazy. It's just like, it's what around like, fuck me. And yeah. this is in Dubai, is it? And this is in the boy, yeah. Are so they, like, I've never been to Dubai. Are they, is that central land or are these more on out, so out like, gates? I'm kind of like, you have like different areas. You have like marina, so that'd be like where, where all the boats are and that. I was like, it's just like, they like, town a bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you yeah. have like downtown is where the Burj Khalifa is. So there's all like different areas and that, yeah. but like for, like the traffic there is just fucking nuts. Like, is just, it bad? Is it yeah, bad? Yeah, like I'm, I live a bit further out, so I'm like a motorway. You say like I'm twenty minutes, twenty five minutes from like Marina. Yeah, but I'm just on a motorway, so I'm literally just driving up and turn off a motorway. Yeah. Into a gaff, no yeah. traffic, no fucking fast yeah. cars. Yeah. You know what I mean? He says when you live there so long, you don't want to be fucking yeah, kind of in the mix, especially yeah. over there. You should spend cash like fucking. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, fucking yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make good money, but is it expensive? I, mind, I was gonna say that. I mind, not, it's quite expensive. Not even mate, to be fair, like I pay nearly, I pay me, me Mrs. Pay like eighteen thousand euro for a year for a two bedroom duplex townhouse. A, a, eighteen grand for the year. Euro, euro yeah. Oh, which is not at that's the end a, of the world. That's not. So you pay every three. Every, like, think about it. it's every three months you pay, and then your bills are only like. 400 quid yeah 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 yeah. so it's not really too bad yeah where two bedroom duplex is like what for 20 grand a year it's less than a grand a month yeah yeah yeah. Mm. what's the what what what, what's the biggest like obviously since you because you've been there a few years now what what was the biggest like cultural thing that you had to that that took a bit of getting used to when you went over there you know what mate it's a funny one right we even with with me missus over there like as i said there's certain gaps you can walk into here you're not allowed, like, she wouldn't be allowed to have shorts on. Yeah, okay. like me, I, I lost my toiletry bag there <coughs> when I came back two weeks ago. And I was like, fuck, like, I had a load of bottles of apple shave and all. You obviously, like, everything when you go away, and I was just like, oh, fuck, I'm after losing this. Mm. Two weeks later, I managed to get it back. <laughs> it was literally left in a taxi. But when I was going into this gaff and on, they're like, no, you have to go, like, put boy bottoms. You, know, you I, did as well? Yeah, I have to go, like, win and get bottoms on because you're not allowed into this, like, public place. Really, yeah. yeah. Even the it's men, ma- I thought it was more just the I women. Thought, yeah, I thought, yeah, no, it's like that as well. But it's like certain. It was like a government building. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. okay. okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, a yeah. bit like you need to wrap up more. Like, yeah. My boy got told off before of having shorts off in a shopping centre. Really? Yeah. yeah. Saying like it's too revealing. Yeah. Fuck off. But like people get very mixed up and thinking like it's real westernised all the time. Like it's more like the way it was. Like you can't fucking drink. Got to do this. Yeah. And, most some people are like no no I can't come to the boy because like you can't do this and do, but you can't like, really you can't like so yeah, just yeah, don't yeah. take the piss like yeah, 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 yeah. you've got to respect their culture <coughs> and their yeah, laws yeah. Well, whether you yeah. agree with them or not you go into their culture because <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. like like Japan like you couldn't go swimming in Japan 
because tattoos are associated with the Yakuza, aren't they? So you can't have any tattoos on show. Fuck off, so I if didn't you've know got that, tattoos man. on show, you can't go to like a public swimming pool or not. On. They don't let you in, no. What you got to have more. Yeah. Uh, you'd be fucked. Oh, I'd be bollocks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't years. go to the gym either. <laughs> yeah. two, year, two years ago when I went to the boy, I just she had no tattoos and then... And now you're covered. Then we tattoo her, just lives above me, so it's just... <laughs> 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 but now, yeah, he, since he was shit to get with me, he was like, man, yeah. once and it's like... Yeah, I get some more. What are the ones on your legs? I can't read. Self-made, so it was just like self-made. Yeah, basically just because you're not dogs, you're from your half villages. <laughs> <laughs> but Rick, we walk like you. <laughs> nah, like even with me with the DJ and that, like I've never really had help with it. Yeah, yeah. Or even in life in general, like just fucking. Yeah, no, no. Just, you just kind of right? when you know yourself and you do everything like. I was 16. I was fucking a caretaker till I was 19. Yeah. yeah. Looking at my grandma all the time was just yeah. fucking. Yeah. 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 It's tough, but it's funny at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, I'd be sitting there, she'd have a cigarette, and I'd be having a joint, and she would look at me, she'd be, what's that like? I was like, eh, it's nice, you know? <laughs> Have a go, have a go, yeah, I haven't the spliffs with it before, yeah. <laughs> but it helps with the outside was that as well. It's funny. What if she's yeah. Does it, does it, yeah? It actually yeah. does, yeah. What if she forgot she was yeah. stoned, though? She was stoned. She was like, I have, a, I have a picture of my phone. She's standing there with a joint. How does that help, though? I thought that would make it worse, if anything. No, no. Yeah, if I have a drink, I can't fucking remember anything. Nah, no, basically, all times is like, <coughs> the way they said it, I've heard the thing on it, it's like, it's like two little tubes like, for your memory, yeah? So from this, the top of the tube is like your new memory, and that all gets clogged back. So oh. like at the end of the the chill was like your old memory as a kid. Mm. And that's how Alzheimer's works. It's like just things are just constantly blocking up your your memory. Oh okay. Yeah. So it's obviously like it's a good analogy though. Isn't it? That's mad. I've never thought of it. Like that. Yeah, that's what it is. It's my, like obviously I didn't even realise but I came home to school one day and she's like, Where's Nate? And I was like what? What the fuck is going on right here? Like, <laughs> I'm like, nah, shit, it's been on me. I had the clue what was going on. Like, honestly, <coughs> like I live, me and I was like nine. That's what me, me nan, my mom was like to me. Like, you could come up with me to stay in the gaff. Like, nah, I'm staying with nan. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. when I wanted, obviously on the bunk from school or something like that, I literally be like sitting in the gaff. I see, you think I went, me mom think I went to school. I see, I'll come down the road. I'm like, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> just get away with more. Yeah, yeah, that's gaff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I ended up being, when she went to f- found out when Alzheimer's and that, she looked after them. Yeah, for yeah, years, but and Is that where you saw the late in your craft as well? Well, yeah, it was like, I was doing, I was fucking, I felt bad and whore, really, because I'd be coming home fucked, looking somewhere else, I was doing, coming home fucked after yeah, I said, yeah, you know, yeah. and it was like, all right, and she's like, are you only getting in? It's like, yeah, I'm only getting in. <laughs> she probably wake up next morning, it's like, oh, you got in 80 last night, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I, was, I got in before <laughs> you. <laughs> I was just <laughs> 10 o'clock, like, you know, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. You, you, well, you went to sleep before, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, nah, it was funny as fuck. Like, you do have some funny memories of when it's hard, like, well, time was up, I mean, like, yeah. someone can, one minute be sound, next minute it could be fucking... Chaotic. Chaotic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe trying to leave the gaff, and you're like, Nah, you're not going anywhere. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's a thing, it's a scary thing to go out and then you'll be like, Yeah, don't have a clue. Half an hour out, where the fuck am I? Like, yeah, 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 scary. So, oh, yeah, 100%. But, scary. Um, yeah, no, nah, f- obviously that was a, a meal to No, I feel like I'm not bad because on uh, Tuesday night in hot water, I asked that joke, would you rather have Alzheimer's or Parkinson's? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I was, do you know what? I was actually funny. But that Nathan actually on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh, mate, I was a cunt, yeah. I'd be scaring the fucking life out of her at the time. I, I swear, right, I'll send you the video. But I, 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 I actually have a whole compilation. Did you ever see me do one of those reels? Compilation. Yeah. yeah, right? And I did it. This is when I was like 15 or something. I have like literally tons of videos where I scared the fuck out of her. <laughs> Just little like clips, right? And it's fucking gas. She turned out, you fucking cunt. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I used to have a like, same mad stuff for all like Hilva Day cash out. <laughs> so little man going around saying, yeah, Hilva Day cash out. <laughs> but yeah, now it's, um, then obviously, I live, after everything with, with me nana that I went to just traveling then. Yeah. Just obviously Dublin, you can only so, so far get to, like with contacts mm, and that. Yeah. I live up here then, then in Spain. Obviously then I went to Dubai, I was just like, that's got me some places like yeah. it's fucking mental like yeah it's, it's a big thing though making that fucking jump and that decision in it yeah just to be able to go do you know what fuck it I'm just gonna do it yeah. you got to go have some I didn't, well, it wasn't thing. even that I wasn't even that I was planning on moving was it like, no. as I said yeah. it was a two week yeah. holiday and I was just like fuck going back like if I know I can make it here I've got the, the right people behind me I was wondering that before like at what, what point you were on that two weeks when you were yeah. there when you were only oh, meant yeah, to be well, there well I got told I can make the grand like, party you know what I mean like when you're getting like don't get me wrong, I love doing it for doing it, but like some of the gaffs over there, it's oh just me. not the same. 
yeah. as I said, it's I'm not over there for my career. I know it's the main thing, but to set myself up for life, it's kind of like yeah. Yeah. You think you'd rather take the five years out, set yourself up for life, and then what? Like look at the likes of David getting on all the fucking twenty for doing. I don't like playing twenty odd. Yeah, yeah. that's so yeah. So like it doesn't make a difference with age really. It's just kind of fucking. Definitely. Just depends when you get onto it and the. Yeah, yeah. it's as I said, it, all it takes is one fucking chill for people. And yeah. if, if you make money now while you're younger and you're set up, you can put more time into fucking production yeah, and yeah. not put pressure on yourself. You know That's what I mean? mean. You have that gap in between. Yeah. Obviously, you just walk on your crafts. And then when obviously you're set up for life, then what else have you got to do? Oh yeah, I've got fucking army contacts and all the thing with my career. Don't I mean yeah. set up so. It's a good plan. Yeah. You've got to have your head screwed on as well because you could fucking just blow all that money. Mate, so don't get me wrong. Don't, I'm not even going to lie. I've got to a stage like that. I'm not yeah, because you're me. buying fucking dying dogs for a grand and everything. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. You know, I, mean, I was going on holidays as well. Like, I was going on fucking ski holidays to beat the band twice this year. And as I said, like you, I got hit like for two months where it's just like, as I said, you walk for a month. You're making, as I said, 10 grand a month and you walk for April and it's just like, you don't walk at all. So you're not getting paid in May. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll come back in May. When you come back in May, then it's just like, you're like, oh, yeah, half your work's gone. Yeah. yeah. So what are you going to do then? So yeah. it's obviously, I had me, so obviously I got myself back set up, but at the same time, it's, you don't know when you're actually making that good money all the time. Yeah. yeah. When there's, it's got, there's always the risk of not getting it back. So yeah. Not yeah. even getting it back, but you don't know how long it's going to last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah, no, yeah, there's yeah. no timer on it to say, well, you're making it from here to here. Yeah. And after that, it can just happen like tomorrow. Yeah. So it was a bit like for a while, it set me head a bit like scramble though. So your calendar yeah. can go from nothing to like everything in like from, fucking 10 minutes. I can go from like doing like four or five gigs a week hmm. to then going to like doing none. And yeah, you're sitting yeah. around or you're doing one yeah. and you're waiting for the next one to come yeah, along. Yeah. And it's, as I said, with DJing, it's like, there is so much you can rely on it. Hmm. But producing is where... The way that's where the thing is. Producing is where it's yeah. going to get Definitely. to, as I said. So if I can make a living off DJing now, while I'm studying producing, it's just yeah the way yeah the, some of the parties like the memories it's just like yeah I I, I, I used to work with fuck um, that he couldn't started be making money through you know them raffles that you do yeah 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 like he just started like how we first done it he bought a car um and just sold raffle tickets fifty quid a ticket and said like if, if I don't fucking sell like hundred tickets or whatever. The, you get refunded no. and everyone was just buying it and he just, he just fucking raffled the car off and made a killing for it and he sure, just started no. doing it and he was doing like fucking mountain bikes and like decks and just buying shit and, but like he maxed his mask catalog out and raffled them and everything like he was yeah. just nuts lad and yeah. then he was fucking successful and he just went out to Dubai and got caught with bugle on him and got like fucking 12 years yeah for, do you remember um, the one the fellow with the CBD no oh no. yeah I, I, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. do you like remember this. so basically like he had like CBD oil in his car and he got pulled over or something like that. And next of all, he's like, done for it. But ever since that, that's when that, like, that new law came in as well. It's like... You it's, take, yeah. Because, like, in a way, dude, like, it's only recently only set up casinos. Because casinos is, well, like... Gam by gambling. Yeah. Yeah. Gambling, no, no, it, it wasn't allowed. Yeah. Yeah. Before I left there on Tuesday, it was coming up that he just regulated it. Fuck off. So, like, that's going to be, like, the new Vegas over there. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, it's getting, it, the Westerners in it, like, quite a lot in comparison to the, the other places in the UAE. Well, they especially. have to, like, in a way. It's like, if they want this no place... Tour, they'll get no tourists, really. If, well, it's if they wanted to be the biggest and the best, as, like, they put it out to Oh, me. yeah. Well, they, the they, they have to they drop the old laws. They have to adapt, well, look, look, yeah, look, look, yeah. Saudi Arabia now, obviously, they're now smashing it with the, the, the pro league. Like, yeah. The, yeah. the fucking the talk of the town everywhere because of this football league. And then they've seen that new wall they're building in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Did that big... That's the, crazy, that, that big is. It's a 700-mile wall, right? Mm. But that's a city, city inside, inside the wall. The wall. Uh, be it's two like, big mirrored walls, right? That's hiding, like, the Empire State Building. In the middle of the desert. And you literally live inside these walls with its own little system and everything. <laughs> and there's like shit, drones that'll deliver stuff to your fucking apartments and everything like that. It's insane. That's crazy. Have you not seen that? I'll show you after this. Yeah. 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 Danny shit scared of robots. Yeah. 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 Honestly, do you know what? Like, I see, I seen a video not long ago, and like, I was just thinking, I was like, hey. I was like, they're here, they're here. It's like I don't forget where it was, but like. You've got drones now that'll deliver your Amazon package yeah, to your yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. traumatised by Will Smith Eye Robot as a kid. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I never, I never, I never watch Will Smith again. Yeah, I know he's half million. I'll never trust Will. So what you're saying, you're producing on that, right? Obviously, you're, um, your mashup packs in Liverpool used to absolutely go off. That's you know, what like, I mean. You get some amount of following from that. Like, I literally... 
at one stage, my Sharon player was like doing 40,000 players a week. Like, yeah, wow. it like, was I, pot. Like, you used to go to a little gaff or something like that. Yeah, your yeah. tunes would be on. Do you know what, mate? It's funny because I've actually. I've got a pen drive full of your tunes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even messing with yeah, he, play, he plays them at his own gigs. <laughs> <and they're, laughs> he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, it's <laughs> I knew I left the USB here. Daddy's going around. Daddy's now a DJ with Nathan's voice. USB. That's back to back sense. I've been killing it, man. What else can I do now? Just DJ and yeah, comedians. All, all, all my dogs are dead healthy yeah. as well. <laughs> Another little way from one of the sponsors. Dan, who's the sponsor? I'm glad you asked, Bob, because Gary was over there looking, <laughs> looking awfully confused. I was very confused. Yeah, well, Gary, you'll be glad to know the sponsor. It's on your T-shirt, What can hell it is as well? Technicals. Technicals. And if you're sitting there wondering over technicals, what are technicals? What do technicals do? See this T-shirt? They do this. Wow. Technicals are a sports and sports and active wear brand that put a heavy focus on keeping their attire stylish, keeping it contemporary. So if you live an active lifestyle, but you don't want to dress like a geography teacher, head over to technicalsbrand.com and use code... Happening 20. I'm glad you remembered. Now, of course, you, of course, you can buy the stuff in JD, but please don't do that. Please go onto the website. Help us out. Help you out. Get 20% off. Happening 20. Technicalsbrand.com. Boom. Love you. Dead you know, quick, right? About DJs. I watched an, uh, an interview with Dead Mouse the other day. Or oh, fucking Dead Mouse 5, whatever mm. you want to call him, right? Yeah, and uh, <laughs> he was talking about, like, festival DJs. He was like... 95% of festival pre DJs play, just pre record, and, play, yeah, yeah. and they just press play when because the fucking festival isn't going to take any fucking risks. That Tomorrowland, no. yeah, Tomorrowland is like that. They actually said in when they're actually doing it, I heard someone say, like, it's actually if you want to play, you have to have a mix ready. Like, do you know what I mean? To be fair though, when you're like doing an event like that, a million dollar event, yeah, oh, yeah, you have to, to make got to be spot go. on. You know, have, you yeah. seen, have you seen the video with Skrillex when he's fucking around on the decks and he just unplugs it by accident? Like about to fucking like about to hit a drop, right? So he climbs up onto the fucking deck and he's like upside down uh. doing like twister and he's messing around like that with the crossfader. And then like as he goes to like jump up, he just fucking unplugs it all so never just goes off in the crowd like what's going on, lad? And he's like, uh, oh, lad, that's he what it's, it happened to me before. That's a DJ's worst. It is like when you hit the kill button on the <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah. the music just goes off. You're like. Fuck, I have to change this quickly. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's literally, it's a cunt. Like, because your heart just, just goes straight in your mouth. It's like, oh, I've just fucked that. And everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they've noticed yet. Yeah, tune it off. I was just looking around as everyone's just sitting there like... <laughs> Does he know what's off? Like, there's actually a DJ. He's like, that off. There's actually a Liverpool DJ. I'm not going to say you who, but Dave, he didn't know, right? He was DJing in the club before, but he had his headphones on and he was DJing away, but he didn't know he had the vo qua volume fader up. I know who it is. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so basically, so basically, there's no, no music on in the club and he has it on in his headphones and he's just standing behind the desk <laughs> like that. Right? And I remember when I heard the story, I was just like, that is the one of the funniest things ever. Because I've DJ at times, right? Silent disco on his own. Oh, <laughs> and he's like, do you ever see Wheeler like, like Jay from the in-between? Yeah. Like, 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 <laughs> like, <laughs> but no, um, um, it's... It's like you have your moments when you're up there, and like if you fuck it, like it's not like you have everyone looking at you. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It can be a cunt, like it's happened to me in a club where if you hit off USB a certain way, it just goes into a loop. Major like, so oh, it's just yeah. constantly repeating itself. And you're like, fuck, fuck. Does the same four bars over, like, boom, dun, 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 boom, dun, 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 and just keeps going and going and going. Oh. It just doesn't stop until you fucking like turn it off. And, and then ah. when you plug it out, it's still, it cuts off completely and you have to put it back in so you have that little loading time <laughs> to then find a song. Gotta put a five in the lefty key <laughs> yeah. back on. It's got to put a ciggy down, it's got to load yeah, up yeah, yeah. <laughs> But like, yeah, it's just... It's but so it happens, it's fucking human nature and yeah. that, isn't it? I That's see, I see in a video, you know, you're saying about like, like some of them at the festivals are just, it's pre-recorded yeah. and they're just fucking pressing buttons for the sake yeah. of it. I see in a video of him, I forget, I don't know where it was or who was DJ and I haven't got a, it was just, it just come up on me fucking yeah. Instagram or something like that. And like, you, you could tell the girl who was like DJing, it was like, Paris it was, 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 it was
Like and then like she she's <laughs> got an hand up, up. Yeah. she's got an hand up giving it and like you, you can tell she doesn't know when it's gonna drop and it's building up <laughs> and building up and it keeps every time you think it's gonna drop it keeps building so she's there going like da, 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 and she starts going da, da, and but it keeps going she goes da, 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 and she doesn't know when it's gonna drop and she yeah she's she's just trying to get it she's just trying to get and then eventually it drops and she's like and then she's looking at everyone like ah it's all yeah. 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 horrible of the foreign fella on the telly right and he's like giving all the socks and all they've got like three decks on there's not a set of wires into the well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. no wires no nothing the man just standing there giving it all zero yeah. rather on the camera yeah. <laughs> that, that happened over lockdown like it was on like TikTok and Instagram like this fella who fucking he just wore like sparkly masks and he had like a big studio in his house and he was always doing like mad mashups and all that on one of them fucking like mad mixes you know all the buttons on like yeah. fucking oh. fed again oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he yeah, had like yeah. sparkly masks on and like he was always doing sick tunes and someone was like little dickhead there's not even a single wire that's Gary that was Gary in last day I was like the mask mask on sparkly mask the mask tight over me I'm like ready to rub someone's cap I bought I bought myself and the web band it's coming I bought myself decks in lockdown and used them once and they're just on top of me covered and a midlife crisis it's just like that okay you want to come back to mine like get decks do you know how to use them I am going to clear Yeah, it's just uh, we can get YouTube up. <laughs> <laughs> I can do the Fred again thing in the gaps like that. <laughs> but, uh, did you see just the sampling the baby crying <laughs> on it. Have, <laughs> have you seen the one when he's doing the boiler up and your man's giving a sock? Oh, the little Chinese trying to watch it. Oh, oh, Leslie yeah. Chow got the car. <laughs> <in> the car. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Chow giving it socks. Locks things up. Everyone just looks at him and like, Oh, you're not bad. <laughs> oh, he saves it so well, yeah. though, doesn't he? Yeah. There's a he few, saves few it. of them boiler rooms where, like, they have, like, the little blo- bloopers like that. Do you ever see when people are, like, a DJ jumps down, this kid just goes behind, God, pulls it down, and then just bangs it up in the crowd. You'd want to twat him, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, but he actually did it in a way. Blends it. It blended, it sounded sick. And everyone loved it. And then he tried to do it again, fucked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you're like, that. nah, mate, forced yeah, it. You got it right time, first time, leave it, lad. Go yeah, away. Yeah, it's just, it's someone like, someone was starting festivals, when you're doing them, like, when I did Ocean before, yeah, the first time, like, they, actually, you ever seen people say you're getting adrenaline rush, like, the, you get like yeah, when, yeah, yeah. when it's going off and you're in the moment of it, it's like no, yeah. literally, it's like you're full of Charlie, you're full of something after you come off, you wouldn't touch it, and it's just obviously just a sick feeling. Like, yeah. yeah, I did Ocean last year, I closed Ocean, and when I was doing it, I was just the adrenaline rush was just fucking, fucking yeah, yeah, I can imagine. It is the crazy. first time I did it, I fucking walked one end, I beat to another. <laughs> he went into me, gaff got changed, got went into a shop, six cans of copper break, walking up to the other <laughs> side, <laughs> power walking like that. Getting like, a little jog on it. Just that literally saying, oh, I've smashed that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's, uh, as I said, like, I, I'm lucky in a way with, with DJ and where I've got where it's, You've it's, done it in a good way, I think. You, you've got yourself out there in like uh, different like areas. Them, like them, uh, yeah, and, and like like I said, the mashups, like you don't realise how many times like you, you, your mashups got played wherever That's you used to go in the mad, video, like when, when you put it up, like when I can do them, it's just like it t- should take me ten minutes like to get like probably two or three of them though. It's like nothing to me. Yeah. When I forced in lockdown and home. Have you got a good ear for it then, do you reckon? Oh mate, like so what it is like, so so your mashups are do you 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 do the one with the um, with is it the oh, Rihanna was, Rihanna and Alan Fitzpatrick? Yeah, that, oh, was, that, that fucking, was the I first one. loved that stuff that so like much. A blow up where people be like oh yeah I know that one and the next one it was like I think I did Angie Stone I wish I didn't miss you and the guy called Passion and then everyone was like you do this when you do that one and when I'm doing them like sometimes it's just, it just comes to me where you'd yeah. actually sing the song you'd sing the acapella over the song yeah, yeah, and yeah. you're like oh they'd oh, be boss yeah, 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 yeah. then go back to the gaff where you used to like find when I'm stuck like when I'm having this the joint like, do you know what I mean? like it make me best stuff yeah. Yeah, yeah in lockdown at home when it happened I was like literally up in the morning little Liverpool house come on cup of tea <laughs> <laughs> the joint rolled and literally for lockdown I'd literally just sit there and just make chillings because when, when I'm in the boy when I first day obviously I couldn't have ADHD in a way where it's just like it's hard for me to sit there for like four or five hours yeah, God, when yeah. I'm not stoned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So what it is, and George you know, Foley, right? Obviously, I've never went to the fucking doctor's right in front of no, You like, don't need to. Yeah, yeah you're self diagnosed. I'll, I'll tell you right now, you've got it. Self, yeah. <laughs> self made fucking ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> self made. Yeah. Self diagnosed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now, uh, do you know what was funny? Actually, last few weeks, I was like, do you ever hear a man Hoberman, that podcast, like, neurologist, and he's like, 
Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I was looking up some of his stuff, yeah. And actually, Who, wait, what? Who's the, what? Yeah, Doctor Hubman and he's called. Yeah. Oh, no, he's no, like no, he's no. like a psychologist or something. A, he's a, something a like neurologist that. or something. That's like that. it. And he's saying about like different like stuff you can actually take mm. for it. And I actually took it for like two, three weeks, and the difference in oh, just okay. taking like little supplements that you wouldn't wouldn't even know. Really? Oh, sorry. And just be like come to live up here with no and then. Just smashing the wall after what <laughs> what's the what's the fucking like the ADHD medicine in America that everyone gets hooked on and is it fucking uh, uh, Adderall. Ad- Adderall. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah yeah so, so it's meant to make you fucking highly functioning and like yeah. I I went like when we first started going half big on this podcast <laughs> and like the editing was a nightmare so like we've we fast tracked the editing this podcast have you on Addies I was Trying to buy some. So, <laughs> no, I, mean, I, 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 I got a full time job for kids editing the podcast, trying to do comedy. I was like, right, I am it's burning hard. the candle at both ends yeah. here, lad. Like, I am fucking yeah. exhausted. I need to be highly focused. And I started getting on the other one. I was looking at it and I was trying to fucking export them and all that. And I thought, nah, I d- I've done actually it. done it, yeah. The I'll... side effects look scatty, right? Though. I've done it. <laughs> this is the funniest <laughs> fucking. So, I was, in, I was doing a gig in Costa Rica, right? Now, long ago. So, doing one gig in, in the boy, mess some fellow who lived in Costa Rica. He's like, look. Texted me on a week, and I was like, "Do you want to come to Costa Rica next week? Twenty four hours away from the boy to go with DJ." I was doing some parties like this. It's going to be the maddest mm. fucking party yeah, in yeah. the world. Actually, sent me me man and me dad me location. Love you. Like, <laughs> me live locations tracked for twenty four hours. Just in case I go missing. Yeah, but, but I'm gonna have a come to Costa Rica, lad. He's in Dublin. But like, <laughs> it, it's just one of those. Just like take and just find me last location. <laughs> yeah, just do your but, best. So when I, when I obviously did the gig, went back to the hotel the next day, and I did, went in them little tours. They just said, "Fuck it, like why not me?" Yeah, as well. yeah. Went to some little. Uh, one of those mental rainforests and all it big sick it was <laughs> and I met this American fella I'll never forget his name was Rob from Texas and he was like, hey, <laughs> hey, hey this he chatting shit to me I'm on the back of the bus he's like I've got these Adderall here you want so I was like fuck it yeah give me one of them Let's just fucking try it but this fella he was the funniest fucking thing we went we back to his hotel he's like I've got a bit of weed here I've taxi driver I was like yeah sound went outside and smoked and as we came back in he hit the button for the lift yeah and because he was standing there overhead, he was paranoid. Some fat fellow was already in the lift. And I jumped in the lift, I hit my button. And I was like, are you getting in? He's like, no, 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 I'll get the next one. Paranoid out of his head because he stunk the wind. So I jumped out of the lift. This fat American fella was like, can't just can't jump in here and start button pushing in this lift. <laughs> <laughs> What, what the fuck is going on? Some fat American fella said, can't just jump in the lift and butt push it. But when you actually think of someone who's not stoned and you're Yeah, like, imagine going in the lift and someone gets in and presses the button and, and it gets out. Look at how that looks to him. Oh, no. oh, well, man. We, we were in the time, we were in the time before us, for us, Gran. And we were in the car park. And as our lift opened on the first floor, to get out, Danny just went. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like the kid in the home alone, it's just yeah. like that spray. Elf in it. Oh, Elf, Elf, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Elf. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in the lift, like, did you ever see, yeah, get him to the Greek? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah. he's like, struck the fur he was. What's wrong with you? Oh, I just had a Jeffrey. Who's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Jeffrey? Just a friendly fellow. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So you know, got spice. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, what happened with the tech? What heavy. happened with your Texas fella? Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. He just fucking. He just vanished then out of nowhere. He just <laughs> he never know. got in the lift, and then I got in the lift and just. Did you have your eyes at all? But did it work? Uh, it, just, it just made you. You've got to take uh, yeah, it. Because you've got ADHD, it just made you normal. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's perfect for DJing because you just don't sit still. You're mixing chill to chill. Your yeah. head's constantly moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, it's okay. when you know sometimes you can actually when you get a high from a gig when you get home then you're just like, sitting there and you're like. What now? What now? Yeah, like the sleep. Yeah. The fuck's your sleep pattern? Yeah, yeah, I've had that myself. Where you don't want to like, go to the comedy club or yeah. something, you do a good gig and you fucking smash it, and then oh, you've got your honour proper hand, and then as soon as you get in and everything's quiet and everyone else is in bed and you're just sitting there and you're like, well, that's it. Yeah. You can't know. Go, you know, yeah. Your mind's kind of racing a bit in the way, especially with me. I'd be sitting there like, it's just a cunt to go to sleep at times. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? yeah, yeah. You're, you're getting in at five o'clock, then by the time you're wanting to sleep at half six, and you're like, well, do I go to sleep because it's bright out now? Yeah. yeah. Do you don't mean? want to be sleeping into the middle of the it's afternoon like and the whole day. Pinning blankets up against the windows and everything to make a dark. Yeah. Room. yeah. It's just one of them. It's just like I've had it before. Like, obviously, I was doing on that, the Hoberman stuff that actually helped you with sleep as well. And everything. Yeah. It's actually nuts. But things you could actually learn off YouTube. Because I we went to a doctor's over there for like, obviously, you don't get like tablets. Like, you wouldn't get like sleepers anywhere. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? 
and the heat as well. This is a cunt. So I oh, went, yeah. I went to a doctor's over there. Next time she's coming out with this, like it happens to a load of people over there. She started prescribing me medication and all like that. Fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. yeah she gave me, she gave me antidepressants. Said I had depression and all this bollocks. Right? Oh god. Oh no. I just got to eat stroke love. I'm sweating. <laughs> and then she said, I just can't sleep. You know what I mean? Next one, yeah. Yeah, you got the depression. Yeah. <laughs> gave me antidepressants, right? And I literally had side effects of insomnia. I didn't sleep for five fucking days. Fuck off. Five days. That actually started. Alright, getting... faithless lad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get. I'm <laughs> <laughs> sitting there and I'll repeat on YouTube. Forty-five oh, hours. Like, fucking knock me USB <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you'd just go off now. <laughs> Bring me back to the club. I actually did swallow. <laughs> <laughs> I swallowed my head about 10 minutes ago. I was starting to blend that I was nearly spewing it. I was sitting here going, <laughs> I've got a fucking HD straight down the back of the crowd. We're talking about like YouTubers and like Costa Rica, right? Some lad in work showed me a video a few weeks back to this YouTuber who just goes to like the maddest places in the world and does like the maddest like tours of it and just videos it right is he a Scottish kid I don't know like Ross Kemp no he fa- no, Kemp. <laughs> <laughs> no like <laughs> lad he he was in fucking uh, it's the most dangerous road in the world shit uh, lad I know exactly. It was it's the old Silk Road. I think it's up in I think South America. Me. Oh, no. No, no, no. it's up in South America, right? Like Silk Road, that's not the fucking thing. It's like, about it's, it's road. Yeah, 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 it's it's it. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's this road on this mountain, right? And the road is like fucking as wide as fucking one car. And it's like a 2000 sheer drop on the other side. And it's dead foggy and everything. It's like fucking Venezuela or somewhere yeah, like the Bronx, that. Right? Bronx and steroids. Like, like, yeah, like it's like in Venezuela or something, right? But this this kid, this YouTube, is fucking tapped in the head. He, um, he like robs someone's llama or something. He's got a baby llama and he gets it in the taxi with him. <laughs> so he's in the taxi with his llama, right? And he goes to the, and he's on YouTube and he's like, yeah, lad, lad, he's fucking, he's nuts, right? And he goes to the taxi driver and want to go up on fucking death road, like, and he goes, yes, sound. But it's that high up. death road with me llama here. It's that high up. It's that high up because it's it's fucking that high above sea level and the altitude. You get all fucking dis- disorientated and discombobulated, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you'd have to chew on coca leaves, like cocaine leaves, to I fucking steady yourself. Hard. So the taxi driver's like giving him these leaves to try and stop you from fucking going insane. Lab is sitting Lab, there. The like... Lab, <laughs> 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 Lab, the Lab is like that. Lab's <laughs> playing Fortnite in the back of the taxi, like right? he's all over it. And then the taxi driver just goes, do you want one of these, lad? And opens a can of lager. And the taxi driver's swigging lager on no. his coke leaves. That lad is swigging on the maddest thing taxi ever. Taxi driver's going, hey, lad, who's got, who's, who's got a gaff on? Do you want lager? Tell your kid, lad. Be told they can drive, DJ. Is your mate still up there on the top of the mountain? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on the way up now. Two new kids in the back. Sorry, sorry. Get, like, get one the road ready. ready. <laughs> one of the, I think the other one's a lamb, and I don't know. Yeah. You're, not, you're not feeling fluffy now. <laughs> <laughs> you keep spitting all over me. I think you might have the mouth. I think you might have the mouth. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Bolivia, it's in. Bolivia. Yeah, look, it's fucking. It's just me and my arm here with the mouth. Look, that, like, uh, where is it? It's dog f- sound now, though. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> dog's legit. I just Who's looking le- after the dogs then? Me, Mrs. Yeah. Oh, she's still she's she over there. She's she? over there now, yeah. She's fucking. She paranoid overhead me. Come that's the fucking, like, that's just the Just don't, just don't, don't, don't slag me off. <laughs> <can't> <laughs> me. She's just like, I, I know you're gonna say something. It's like, look, don't even start. You shouldn't even put the thought in. Like, <laughs> no, he, 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 he was saying before how lovely you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 he's been singing your praises. Yeah, definitely. Even about <laughs> the time she got stung with a jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. nah, I, I, I follow this kid on Twitter. <laughs> I um, think so. I follow, <laughs> someone said that to him. I follow, I follow this kid on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> this kid on Twitter uh, called Callum Abroad. Yeah. This Scottish kid. Yeah. And like, he, he's, he just goes all over the world to like the most dangerous locations he was in. I think it was the last one I seen of his was the other day. It, it was you in either. Shit about that now. The way <laughs> Gary was just saying that. No, 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 like no a, 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 a yeah. different one. They, 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 Scottish lad, and like he just goes to like the most dangerous locations. Or like he's been like all over the Middle East. And, like he was, I forget, I forget where he was the other day. It was either Iraq or Afghanistan or something. And there was an old Buddhist temple which the Taliban had blown up. I'm on him. And, and yeah. does he go and sit in the rooms with them and like? Yeah, on and the he, he was there him. videoing, and he's like, he's like, so this is the old Buddhist temple which the Taliban blew up. And then he's like, here's a couple of them now, and there's two fellas walking past them, strapped up with AKs on. 
the back and he's just video yeah, <laughs> yeah. and he's just videoing them and I'm like what, like, like, what are yeah, you doing seen that, that just some people just have that filled and you're yeah, one about yeah, that where that. like this fella was fucking he was massive on YouTube and like fucking TikTok and all that for doing all these yeah, mad yeah. videos and uh, he got in with the Taliban and all that and he was like getting loads of videos with them and then he just went radio silent just fucking disappeared his channel not and got posted on his channel or nothing for months and then there was just a post on his Instagram and it was just like um, captured or something. he is alive but the Taliban turned on him and captured him he's now a prisoner of war for them and all that they but reached out to us um, and they're saying they'll release him soon or something. I was like, that's mad, that's fucking fine, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. You think when one of them do it, the rest and be like, nah, no, fuck that. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Did you feel like how Drop a little Ken Bigley. People just think sometimes they're invincible. Do you know, that's even, mate, it's just people, how far they go just yeah. for likes. Yeah. 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 It, it is oh, scattered. Oh, you know what I mean? No. When you think about people, be like, you know what, I'm going to put my whole life on hold or I'm fucking on a blatant lion to fucking just yeah. get blown off. Yeah, but listen, mate, if you're fucking phone pings tomorrow and your email goes and it's fucking jihadi john he's like listen i've got a cave there um, <laughs> i've got a cave there yeah. i'm on it mate where are we going <laughs> 10 quid, yeah, 10 10 quid. Man. i want life insurance deal i want a contract drill yeah, he's, like, he's like on one condition you bring that fucking llama with you yeah. <laughs> make sure to tie up now yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. 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 bring those leaves <laughs> oh mate you know, I swear to god me and my missus actually call it me toy pill like a little llama it's literally a little small orange thing it's a big 40 legs yeah. <laughs> and he sold it to me as a pill but it's definitely that's the story of the fellow who fucking he, he, he found a Mexican rat and he thought it was a little dog and brought it home and all that and like, it, it wasn't it wasn't well it was just some little pellet called Joe like, Jose <laughs> <laughs> have, you ever see, have you ever seen <laughs> have you ever seen a Mexican rat no look like oh, watch your old family you know, guy this, what? That looks like a rat. Is that a rat? Yeah, Mexican rat. Lads. That looks like a little chicken. He found it. Hey, Jack Russell. Yeah, it's a little Jack Russell. He landed for us. There was a dog and brought us home. And like, we got there six. We took it to the vet to make me dog six. Like, it's not a dog. It's a fucking rat, lads. It's fucking splinter. That's scatty, man. It's splinter. Him in the gap with the four tunnels in the gap. He's feeding the pizza. Coming out with a shell on the weekend. He's got his walk and stick on a pepperoni. Like, it's fine. What's it? What's it? What's it been like for yourself with like the police and that over there? M- 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 probably not with you, but you must have seen no, some wait, shit. No, like... it is. To be fair, like for me, it is sketchy at times. I mean, I could do be doing parties, and as I said, it doesn't matter. Pure, really, no, it's not even that. But think about it. It might not be me who's acting in the bollocks, or it might just be someone else in the gaff with it yeah, yeah, that yeah. puts you in, yeah. in, in danger as yeah, well. Like, yeah. It's funny. There's no checkpoints. Okay. No stop checks anyway. So most people like, do be like driving to Oh, so if you die, you gotta start at the beginning again. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't get any extra credits. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a Muslim country, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know the way people over here like fucking like see like Muslims and all that and they go on about terrorism do you reckon like they see you as a terrorist because you're Irish they're like fuck this man is a terrorist no, 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 no. <laughs> whatever you do do not push the clutch down <laughs> so some of them are bleeding like when you do see somebody they are scary like, you know what I mean? when they're in them big outfits yeah like, <laughs> but just like, them, oh, big, mate, them big outfits down, yeah? <laughs> them swear, big outfits swear to god you have six or seven of them what watch you like right I'm going into a I'm going into a bleeding van here I'm getting sent <laughs> off getting sent off in a box <laughs> God knows where I'm coming back six months time with a bleeding beard to me ankles <laughs> and a skinhead. It's like sallow leather. <laughs> Jihadi Dwyer. <laughs> Jihadi Dwyer. DJ Jihadi Dwyer. DJ DJ Jihad. <laughs> <laughs> Call me J Dog over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The DJ is J Dog. Fucking funny, that man. Wow. Them big old fish. Swear down. It's J's good. Adam it's good Bob. to see you've educated yourself on the know, culture. Yeah, it's yeah, good right. to see you the so When this fella's in black, this one's in a light grey. <laughs> <laughs> this one's in a white one. Do you know what I mean? There's <laughs> all different. So there's actually a video, oh. right? And uh, I was on. I think it was on my Instagram. And there's some bored, right? And she was going around in the bloke's outfit in the mall. Okay. Oh. So she's going around in the whole white rig out where, yeah. only, where they, they'd wear black on the board, the fellas would wear white. Yeah. yeah. And she's going around in a big white outfit and everyone's just looking at us like Really? What yeah. they even just yeah. a shop over there called Spinnies, right? So if you have like a non non Muslim section fulfilled. You literally like where they sell bacon in a complete different area wow. of the shop. Oh not even. So you have to go into a room to get bacon. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Like where it's just on oh, non Muslim. At, at least you can get it though. Yeah, me and my missus found a shop recently and it was just like everything you'd want from home was there. I was just like, 
oh, this is a nightmare, this, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's because, like, you can get, like, oh, I mean, the certain shops, like, don't do your regular drinks and, like, you know, like yeah. stuff you'd miss from home. Yeah. yeah. And this is, like, a one-stop shop of, like, Tesco. Oh, okay. It's just, oh, oh. Yeah, like, literally got everything. We went in, it's, like, all Ben and Jerry's laid out. <laughs> Do you ever see, like, when you're, like, starving on the munchies and then it's, like, what do I want? This guy yeah, just has yeah. it all. Yeah. It's like in Amsterdam and the one she's to go to them little, uh, <laughs> the little sweet shops. Yeah, 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 yeah. I go to them like, I have this one, this one. <laughs> but it all adds up like this, the price is like... Yeah, you've got to pay export places or import but, places. Yeah, because it's like, so petrol over there is like 40 quid for a full tank. Yeah, and okay. you don't get out of your yeah, car. Yeah, you don't get out of your front garden. Sorry, it's shop. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, but you can't drink water out of the tap over there. That's because it's fucking crazy. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm old kid. He only came over on holidays. He's like, yeah, mate, I was out last night and I had a few drinks. And then got up in the middle of the night and had a, gla- a glass of water. Like he says, I think I drank too much. He drank the glass of water, mate. He was dying sick for three days. He was what? Dying Getting sick for three days. Because the water wasn't clean. Yeah. Not filled it's like fucking deli belly in it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, I, I was I was wondering before, obviously, I know you said like the certain shops that'll sell things from over here, yeah. like, like with different sections in the shop and that, but like generally speaking, like what's the situation over there for like, like so let's say let's say that shop is four hundred miles away, yeah. and like you, you just wanted to get some snacks. Like, you don't what? even you have to me off, mate. You just go on, there's literally uh, there's two apps in your phone called one called Insta Shop, yeah, yeah, and as it's literally the world itself, Insta Shop. They'll come to your gaff with everything. You just can have a catalog in your phone. I want this munchies. Yeah, but like yeah. ordering your local spa to your gaff. But what are you saying Shit. though? Do you know if you had none of that though, yeah. And you just ah, had the like. If you were to drive to it yourself. If you know, if you just no, had like, like let, 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 let's say you had, let, let's say you you had to only eat ah, like, like like UAE stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like like nah, what's it, is, it, is it not like? No, nah, it's not like that. So it's basically like all your meat and all would be Australian and New Zealand and that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. like I'd be like, you can get Australian, New Zealand, or Brazil, right? but when you actually look at the difference. Yeah, because you can't farm any animals in the sand, lad. No, nah, not yeah. even that. I mean, when you look at the difference in the field. Yeah. That you could say a Brazilian steak to an Australian steak, yeah. Mm-hmm. Brazilian one's like rubber. Yeah. So literally, you can see the difference in the yeah, field, yeah. you know what I mean? So where it's happened me at times. I like, fucking got a McDonald's one. Like, it was a dodgy McDonald's. Oh, I was thinking of the world. Really? Me, yeah. yeah, like... <laughs> Out one end and out the other. Uh, yeah. 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 Fuck that. Oh, it's fucking, it does mean that. Actually, like, you know I mean? as I said, you can have dodgy field at times. Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've had another pal came out. I was like, yeah, come on, we go for a scram. He went, he was living in Bali, then came to the boy, had different feel, same thing. It's just like. Here's a question Can you drink in your apartment? Yeah, it, it's, not, it's not like, as I said, like. Can you not drink on the street? No, you can't really drink in the street. It's just like one of those things. It's like. It's still respect in a way, but there's off licenses and all now. We can oh, like, yeah, yeah okay, okay. So it's ve- really leaning It's then. really getting more western noise, as I said, like the certain things. Do they have smackheads? No, I miss it. I see one. <laughs> <laughs> when, 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 you live, when you live in Dublin, one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's crackhead central. That's where I'm from, right? And it's like bum fights. I actually miss it, yeah. I, it was actually a, a, a film, a homo I used to watch, yeah. I was called Adam and Paul, did you ever hear that? No. no. So basically it's just the story of two crackheads. <laughs> you know, I got on around Dublin. And I was a kid watching that, it was the funniest thing in the world. So just literally, because the way the crackheads go on in Dublin, and then obviously you see, don't get me wrong, I've seen a few since I'm back, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I miss it in a way. What's that? What's happening to that camera? It, it tastes what it tastes. Well, it's what you say, so before we, before we finish, then you're saying about the, about the, the, the smackheads in Dublin. The oh, film. Yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. the only thing, it's just like, when you see smackheads, you just you know yourself, you just gotta look at them and you see they're gonna be one way or another, like one they're ready to take the head off, or two they're ready to fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. Just, they, they, they're <laughs> only two moods. <laughs> it's fucking mad how the smackheads are still going, like ones that I used to see when I was like a kid and like yeah. look like they're about 80, they just live forever, don't they? Yeah, they yeah. never they, die. They, they, it's like, it's like, they start taking heroin or crack at like, in like the late 20s. I'm sure, then, wait, I'm sure crack on heroin Get rid of diseases, you know. Well, I'm proper convinced. Appa- apparently, I'm open crack. Apparently, cures diseases. Apparently, like, you know. <laughs> 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 it's not there for you, like. apparently, apparently, crack <coughs> like like completely like incinerates cancer cells. I don't know how true that is. Yeah, but it, it does. I mean, there's probably other. There's but probably cancer other generates side too much it. money, so they're never gonna fucking cure it. It's that, mad. Have you seen all them stuff lately about like even your phone and all? Like, you can't leave your, if you leave your phone in your pocket. Pop it. Uh, pop it, pop it, it, it reduces, and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and I was actually talking to someone recently, and they said that the mom used to have the phone in like her chest all the time, yeah, and then like ten years later, she had cancer in her chest and the exact same size yeah. as her phone. Oh, That's weird. Yeah. Have you ever seen the one? I know it's not fucking cancer, but. Your finger, 
Like, oh, with your oh, phone? Oh, you're dense. Yeah, you're yeah, dense on your I've, finger I've when you hold your phone. Yeah, yeah. I've got that dense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is it really like that or is it just that the way it was... You... No, no I no, think so it because it if it, I never have my phone in that hand, yeah. but on that one I do yeah. and I've got So my left, my left so hand... I've got it in both and I only have it all the time. Oh, yeah, both my left, hands, no, my yeah, left yeah, hand's yeah. not yeah. deep. And then my right one's proper deep there. <laughs> so all of us in the gap. This week. Tell me, say, the screen time and your phone. Finger time this week. Check it. I'm going to use left hand on the, mo- on the first week. The second week I'll use this one. Let them balance yeah, out. Yeah, well, they're going to keep switching it back and forth. So you're going back to, you're going back to the Dubai tomorrow, aren't you? Tomorrow, yeah. Um, when, are you when, when are you back over here again from Dubai? Do you know, yeah, you know, like, yeah, literally. This is 25 days, yeah. Okay, but I'm, like, no, I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to go to the Europa League game. Uh, I'm back on the, I think the second, the first week of October. Yeah, no, nice. You see me coming out with my board's family and that, so she has like, yeah. family events on. It's like, just come back. I was like, yeah, so yeah nice. Because as I said, work still like, season's only just starting off now, so it's still going to take a few weeks. Yeah. But I'll have the F1 now in a few weeks in November, December. F1 and Abu Dhabi just be fucking yeah, oh yeah, yeah that'd be sick insane, first yeah. year I did it it was the year remember Verstappen and uh, Lewis Hamilton were like going at it going at it literally edge to edge sick so like when they actually won the race the fireworks and all because he obviously got the trophy there compared to everywhere else yeah. so it was just like it was just different like some of the scenes you see over there like oh yeah because the, like whenever whenever they get to host an event as well, because it's still because it's still quite new to them yeah. hosting like world events over there. They fucking go Love all out. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Like, yeah I mean, they, I mean, there, I mean, yeah. obviously, if you if you look past if you look past the the slave labour, <laughs> great events. Mate, do you know what the, the money there? Do you, know, do you know what though? Right, like I'm not fucking saying it's right to have slaves and all that, but <laughs> tread lightly, <laughs> please. No, but like please tread lightly. I know it's a different time, but everyone was fucking boycotting the World Cup and all that because of slave labour, but then everyone fucking celebrates and wants to go and see the fucking pyramids. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I know it's different, but... Yeah, but yeah. they're not around fucking... anymore, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a walk. When, when, when they're dead past, slaves. They're dead slaves now. Yeah, t- we can look past dead slaves. <laughs> like, they brought laws in now, Joby, for you, but like, <laughs> yeah. we didn't have it back then. They've all got rights. So. <laughs> yeah. There's too many rights these days, <laughs> I think. <laughs> You were at the comedy club the other night. You said something. It's like a male or female. I was just half tempted to shit. Well, no, them lot. <laughs> 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 I was just like, oh. Like, he just looked at me. He's like, don't, don't. Just gonna have some <laughs> some content here that's gonna be coming around. There's always one. Oh, yeah. just... I thought I was gonna split the room and when I fucking I done the the Han Frank one. I thought the mustache one as well was a fucking winner. With the Mario one. Yeah. No, that, that that shook me world like. Genuinely shook me, lad. So, Super Mario, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's Italian and he's meant yeah. to be an Italian plumber. Yeah. And like, his little catchphrase is, it's me, Mario, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, growing up, I was, I was like, oh my God, it's, it's a me, Mario. Yeah. But it's Nintendo, yeah. which is Japanese. Yeah. And in Japan, it's a me means super. Super Mario. Uh, you, were, you said that and I was like, and then you were saying about Danny coming out, I was like, ah, oh, Mario Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy comes out. Hey, Luigi. <laughs> man, I, I, I look more like fucking Princess Peach than anyone else. Oh, I'm more like oh. Oh, yeah, one from Frozen, the little blonde kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, Would you like to build a snowman? Little man. <laughs> more like a cat man. <laughs> Would you like a bag of, oh. like uh, a bag right, of candy? Before we get ourselves yeah. yes. in any fucking trouble, <laughs> I think we're going to call it a day because oh. I'm fucking yeah. sweating yeah. in here anyway. Have yeah. you got anything to promote or anything you've got coming up that nah, you want the people to see? Or? New music coming out with the next few weeks and if you're in the boy you'll never need to ha- help out with holiday concierge get on me yeah. I can sell you dogs with pneumonia and you know what you need to do right right DJs have a little fucking headphone pouch don't they yeah yeah, yeah. when that dog finally dies right get it skinned <laughs> and use it as your headphone pouch <laughs> Like you get one of those pillows to leave in the bed with the face <laughs> on. Turn it, turn it into the smallest no, one ever. The neck pillow ever said in five days. You gotta leave the advice with this fucking She just has this dog around your neck. Setting up a foundation with dogs with pneumonia. <laughs> and all coming if in. If your dog has been abused with pneumonia recently, you've been a soul to tie poodle. Yeah. 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 So you see, say it's a toy. It's a toy. It's a toy poodle. A toy poodle. Toy poodle. I said, 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 I said,
Wait, what did he say? A toy poodle? A toy? I thought oh, he said a toy. I said a toy poodle. If you watch it back right, I go, uh, it's a bird with a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm like, and, and then low and even lower soon. Look, you just got on to his kind of conversation. Uh, I thought, yeah, sound. Yeah, uh, dude. Sausage dog, come at me. He's coming here. There's such a poodle. There's body poodles. There's body poodles. There's sausage dog on the slide. Oh, mate, you know what? We had to, I went away and my board got up there. Or did she really? What did you always, got what? I went away and I went back to Dublin and she got me sausage dog neutered. Yeah. Because oh. the, the other two are like girls. Yeah. And yeah. literally, what they do is they literally just take take a little nut show, that's it, and just left them with sag. <laughs> I was like, did that show? Shall we keep the bag? He keeps the bag, but not the, not the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> do you never find yourself wanting to just poke it? No, mate, I think you ever see the little extra bit on your elbow? You <laughs> oh, lad, lad. <laughs> lad. Oh. Your weenus? Go and get a zip, put on your dog's ball bag, <laughs> and I have a lemon with me. Put your bits in it, put your lemon with your dog's balls. <laughs> Go to your poodle, he's got a good guard gate up the balls. Yeah, your dog gets 10 to 12 in a 20 man show. <laughs> yeah, like that, and the dog in the section. Yeah. And squat and cough. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, he has pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I come for that kind of thing. Well, yes. well, uh, listen, Nathan, thanks for joining uh, us. I yes, yeah, appreciate yeah. it. Let us know when you're next in Liverpool as well. And we'll get together. We'll do something. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, if, we're, if we're just in this camera, we don't know what's going to happen yet. But if we're in that camera, thank you for watching. If not, we're in this one. Thanks for watching. As always, <laughs> see us again next week. This has been the What's Happening Podcast, episode 17. Eight. 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 <laughs> See you in 79. Ta-da. 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 Ta-da.